the dragon has finally been buffed. Kinda, a little bit, but he's, he's good now. Kinda, a little bit. What's good, folks? It's Nightmare Frame here with a new Warframe video coming at you with an updated Chroma. Oh my god, it's been ages since I've done a proper Chroma build that isn't Profit Taker. Now, for those wondering, what happened to Chroma? Well, they just made his Vex armor more usable user-friendly and with this change it requires less brain cells to actually accomplish giga damage so they removed one of the useless mechanics now self damage or needing to take damage so you can buff yourself no longer the days where you have to stand there take hits mod for less shields anymore to get your buffs Prior to the rework, you needed to take shield damage to get the armor buff, and you need to take health damage to get the damage buff. But first, let's understand what exactly Vex Armor does. Vex Armor is a very simple and straightforward buff. It has two forms, Fury and Scorn. Fury is the one that gives you the damage buff, and Scorn is the armor buff. Now, all you have to do is kill enemies with your guns to get the Fury buff, and kill enemies with your melee to get the Scorn buff. Simple as that. But now, what type of damage is Vex Armor? Vex Armor gives you a base damage multiplier, meaning it's a very strong primary merciless, serration, you know, those types of multipliers. And Vex Armor is additive to those multipliers, as they are the same thing. And because that serration, point blank, or whatever type of base damage that is on your weapon is the same multiplier as Vex Armor, that means you don't have to mod for it on your weapons. You're better off with more elemental damage and other different types of multipliers. Now, with the changes to Chroma, does that make him a good Warframe? He's okay. His first and fourth ability are still really useless, not worth using, except the fourth ability when it comes to Profit Taker, because that's all he's good for in Profit Taker, is popping his fourth ability after you defeat the Profit Taker. Otherwise, if you're going to take those two abilities, first and fourth, into an actual missions, they do nothing for you. So you're still stuck with his second and third ability. But his third ability is good now, so yeah, that's, that's, that's nice. Also with the Dante Unbound update, Besides Chroma getting a rework to his Vex armor, he also got an augment called Guardian Armor. Having a look at Guardian Armor, it does a few things. Chroma's health takes 50% of the damage dealt to squad baits with an affinity range. So this kind of worked with the old type of Vex armor, meaning if teammates took damage, you get the Vex armor buff. So I'm not sure how they're going to change this, but they might keep it because he's now kind of a support now. But when squad mates kill, it restores a percentage of his health, which is okay. But the best thing about this augment, and also the bad thing about this augment, which I'll get to, is that every kill will replenish one second of Vex armor's duration, meaning you can have Vex armor buff indefinitely, as long as you keep on killing. Now, why is this a bad thing? but also a good thing. Now, to understand the downsides of that augment, you have to understand the other type of Vex armor mechanic that we have. Usually, when you activate Vex armor, it snapshots everything into that one Vex armor. What does this mean? Okay, so right now we just killed those 20 enemies. We got our fury buff. And when we recast Vex armor, it refreshes Vex armor. That's, that's pretty good, right? So you can keep this up as long as you keep on recasting the Vex armor buff. So what's the point of the augment? But notice one thing, 970% base damage increase from that Fury buff. So let's say I use Sling Strength from Madurai and I reactivate Vex armor. Usually you would think, okay, now it's got more strength. So if I kill, that's going to update Vex armor. Unfortunately, no, it's still stuck at 970 because the way it snapshots the buff. So it will remain in that state no matter how many times you increase your strength. So the only way to get the benefits of conditional strength increases is if you let Vex armor expire to then recast it. So right now my Vex armor is completely expired. If I use my Sling Strength, activate Vex armor, kill enemies, Notice how I have a larger Fury buff. So that's the issue with Vex armor and that augment. They do not synergize with one another. 
So if you're using arcanes like Molt Vigor, Molt Augmented, anything that is a conditional strength increase, you would have to let your Vex Armor expire to then recast it with the additional strength bonuses. So if you're planning to run the Augment, make sure you have your final strength increase before you cast the ability. Otherwise, you'd have to sit there without killing any enemies. Because remember, it refreshes the timer on Vex Armor if you kill enemies. So either wait for the Vex Armor buff to expire, jump off the map, get nullified, or die. Those are the ways to get rid of the Vex Armor buff just to get the conditional strength increases. But then the Augment is also not a bad thing because it keeps the Vex Armor buff up at all times as long as you keep on killing, which is pretty good. So how do we go about that? Well get a build that gives you enough strength increase and then cast the ability so you don't have to worry about conditional strength increases another thing with guardian armor is that you don't have to rank up this augment that 50 percent damage that you get doesn't scale with the mod rank nor does the duration increase that you get from every kill the only thing that is affected by the mod rank is the kills restore health it goes from two percent to five percent this augment doesn't even need to be ranked up. So the only reason that you use that augment is to refresh your Vex armor without pressing the Vex armor button. That's it. Otherwise, there's so much damage reduction nowadays over guard that the damage that your allies take are not going to be substantial that it's going to end up hurting you. Because you can use this augment even if you're solo because you count as a member in, in a squad, even though it's a solo squad. So whatever kills you do, you still heal yourself. When it comes to helmet abilities, I recommend only two for now, and that's with Nourish, that gives you that viral elemental damage multiplier and energy multiplier, but mostly just for the viral damage, or energized munitions. This gives you ammo efficiency, so you consume less ammo per shot, meaning it's very good with weapons like the Kuva Brahma, Kuva Zar, so you can just spam your shots without ever worrying about completely depleting your ammo pool. All right, here we are in Steel Path, showcasing the new Chroma loadout, and it's also using the Guardian Armor Augment. What you're going to see is that I'm going to get conditional strength increases before I cast my Vex Armor, because I want all that strength increase to be ready before I cast Vex Armor. That way, I don't have to worry about the augment refreshing my Vex armor without the great bonuses that I get. So I'm going to find some enemies, throw out my Grimoire, and that Grimoire is going to tick away. Give me that 60% strength increase. Use Matterize Void Sling. Cast Vex armor. And my second ability. I just start killing away. Pretty good. I need to activate Nourish now. So I'm going to do the same thing. Two Void Slings, and then Nourish. We have Corrosive Viral Hunter Munitions. So we're dealing crazy amounts of raw damage, and the Viral Debuff, and of course, the Bleed Procs. Yeah, as you can see, we're just killing everything in sight. You can do this with pretty much any weapon. But I said, you know what, let me use the Exceltra here, because it's something that everybody can get their hands on. And since I'm using Nourish, I have so much energy that I don't even need to pick these up. There we go, I need some armor. Let's do our melee kills real quick. You can use any melee you want. I just decided to use the glaive because it's pretty brain dead. I just throw it out there. And notice how I never needed to recast my Vex armor at all, thanks to that augment. We're doing crazy amounts of damage, thanks to the Vex armor buff, and of course, Arcane Avenger. Now, Exceltra Prime isn't a great weapon. It looks good because I'm using it on Chroma. And the only two frames that I would say Exceltra looks really good on is Mirage and Chroma. Otherwise, the weapon is... it's mid. Alright, let's use our melee. And one-shot him. See, that's the great thing about throwing projectiles with Chroma's Vex armor. You just one-shot. So it really doesn't matter if you're going to use the Glaive, you can use the Serata, you're going to get the same results. Because since we're dealing so much damage... We don't have to worry about that slash proc that you get from the glaive. So yeah, this whole time, I never needed to recast my Vex armor. And how much do we have? Pretty huge, 1,300. You can definitely get higher if you were using Molt Augmented for some additional strength. And now we're back and let's have a look at that Chroma loadout. But first, the Archon shards. As you can see, they're all strength shards. And if you have more strength shards, then shove them in there. Because that's even better for your damage buff and tankiness. So, 
let's take a look at that loadout, shall we? Now, in the aura, I'm going to be running a combat discipline. Here, just a rank two. Lose health while also healing your squad mates. We're doubling down on that healing squad mates things, but then, but we're only using this for a certain arcane. Now, for all of our modded strength increases, we're gonna start off with Power Drift. We're going hard on this. Blind Rage, Transient Fortitude. Yeah, you can see a little dip in duration, but no worries. Also, we're gonna slap in Augur Secrets and your juicy Umbral Intensify. So this is all of our strength increases right now. We're not using any conditional strength increase because we're using the Augment. Speaking of the Augment, shove in Guardian Armor. This doesn't need to be ranked up. As you can see, it's just 2% from that 5%, which is more than enough. You don't have to worry about it. Prime Surefooted, the best mod in the game because spending less time on your butt, you know the thing, right? Going to be running a Narrow Minded. We're going to get 172% duration. This gives me 42 seconds on my Nourish. Same thing with Vex Armor, but of course it's going to be Refresh thanks to that friggin' Augment. And 42 seconds on Elemental Ward. I'm going to be using the Heat version of the Elemental Ward to give me the Health Increase. Because as you can see, I don't have any health mods on the build, nor would I be using any health mods on the build. For added defenses, shove in Adaptation. This is going to be our Nourish build. For the Arcanes, I'll be running Arcane Guardian. This is going to be my defensive Arcane. Because I'm already getting health from Elemental Ward, I need some armor. Some additional armor, of course, from Vex Armor and Guardian. This gives me more EHP. And then finally, we have Arcane Avenger. When we take damage, we get crit chance. This is a flat 45% crit chance increase. And for the Energized Munitions, it's going to be slightly different because I won't be using the Augment. We're going to go in with our Strength and a Conditional Strength Increase. Arcane Energize because, well, we don't have Nourish. And over here, you can go with Flow, Argo Secrets, doesn't really matter as long as you get a decent amount of energy back. So then you could recast your three and four. Notice another thing here. I'm going with Intensify and Vitality. This is going to be my health and strength increase. Because in this version, you're going to be using the cold version of Elemental Ward. The cold version gives you more armor. So you're pretty tanky. For this slowdown, unfortunately, you're going to have to let your Vex armor expire once and then build it back up because of that Molt Augmented increase. So 60% from Molt Augmented, 60% from your Tome, 40% from your Void Sling. And if you want, you can even change Cross Projection into growing power for 25% additional strength. So this is gonna have quite a bit of damage. Speaking of that tome build, let's have a look at the Grimoire. In the Arcanes, Conjunction Voltage, it's innate electric, it's alternate fire deals electric. This gives me more multi shots. We're gonna be using Vom Invocation. The alternate fire grants you strength. This stacks up to 60% strength. Pretty damn good. And for the Excellence, Fast Canticle. This gives you Shield Recharge and Recharge Delay. Otherwise, use whatever you want. It, it doesn't matter. More Fire Rate Increase, whatever. And for the weapon, I decided to, you know, let's do Excelltra Prime because, unfortunately, Incarnate weapons that I do suggest are never in rotation for other people. It's like, God damn it, I have to wait two weeks for that Incarnate to come out? Ah, oh, shit. So, here you go. This is something you can just pick up and buy from other players. And it works. Okay-ish. Otherwise, it's, it's, it's a mediocre weapon. Notice that there's no base damage nor base damage arcane. Because all the base damage is coming from Chroma. Now, it's a very weird loadout. Because I built this around the Nourish Helmet ability. But let's take a look at the Arcane real quick. Fractalize Reset. When you cast an ability, you get 240% reload speed for 5 seconds. Pretty nice. But the usual crit chance, crit damage, elemental combination, Firestorm because it increases its radial attack, your multi-shot, faction damage, and hunter munitions. Some people might be asking, hey, why don't you run Entrail Bleeding? Well, unfortunately, the force impact procs only work on direct hits. This weapon has a radial explosion around it. So enemies that are killed by the radial explosion won't get the bleed proc. 
So unfortunately, no. Hunter Munitions is going to be way more consistent than Intrill Bleeding. That's exactly how you pronounce it, trust me, I know. For the melee, use whatever you want. Like, li literally, use whatever you want. Something quick, explosive, just to give you that armor buff, and then you forget about it. And for the companion, I'm using the Worm. Build is pretty straightforward. We have our fire rate coming from a reinforced bond. Of course, you need your companion to have some shields and bam, we have enough shields thanks to that calculated redirection. And over here with Tenacious Bond, we get that crit damage, but you need your companion to have over 50% crit chance. Easily done with a weapon. You have your guardian, negate, shield charger, the basic build. That's it. And for the weapon, you can use the Vulcock or the Vulcox. All you need is wabam, critical delay, you're over 50%. The rest of the Vigilante mods just to bump up that juicy critical tier. All right, all right. This is the new and improved Chroma. And funny enough, a build that isn't about Profit Taker. Shocking, right? An actual usable Chroma build that you can play in regular missions. <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's a nice change to Vex armor. Finally, now rework his fourth and first. They're due to water. Anyway, that has been it for me. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I learned something for a minute. And if you did, please feel free to leave a like, share, and sub a subscriber for more Warframe content streams and so much more. Do refer to the description. Thanks for watching, and as always, a peace. Bye bye now.